Hey everybody, welcome to the final part of how to build the music department of your dreams. You're watching KCM Live or KCM TV Live uh, via Facebook. My apologies for the slight delay in the final post. Uh, I do hope that you uh, weren't sitting around waiting around on Tuesday night. It was a bit, a bit late, but that's okay. So I'd like to welcome you to part four. So in part one, we talked about the fact that it's all about you, your strengths, your personality, how you can uh, build the music department of your dreams, focusing on you and what you can do. In part two, we had a chat about uh, the, uh, we talked about uh, the culture of your music department and how the culture can make such a big difference to um, the vision that you have and the direction that your department's going in. In part three, we talked about the middle child and we talked about the engagement of resources and about how the content delivery can make such a big difference to uh, building your music department. And in this final part, part four, I'm going to talk about um, basically doing things differently. So I ask you the question, what are you doing differently within your department? What are you doing to attract attention? What are you doing to stand out? Because that's what you need to do. I had a, uh, a fabulous prac student a number of years back and she came to our school with, um, as part of a, a program, sort of a mentorship program, I suppose. And when she got there, she'd come from her own teaching, obviously, her own um, experience in private teaching. She'd also done her university degree. So she'd been in a practicum in various schools over a couple of years. And she came to us and at the end of her practicum, we had a conversation and she said to me, I want to thank you. And I said, what for? She said, I want to thank all of you. So what for? And she said, I want to thank you for showing me that there is a different way to teach music. In her mind, based on her knowledge of her personal experience with music, her personal experience with music education, and with her view of what went on in the schools that she had been in, she had always thought music to have been taught a certain way. And when she came to us, she discovered that music can be taught a lot of different ways. I ask you, how many of you are still standing at the whiteboard drawing a rhythm tree? How many of you are still putting up notes on a stave on your whiteboard that spell words? Yes, they're old school, tried and true strategies, but they are very dry for a lot of students. And they don't mean anything, it doesn't mean anything. The kids don't quite understand it. They go, why are we naming these notes? What's the point in knowing this? Real world applications and doing things differently. So again, I ask you, what are you doing differently? There's a wonderful podcast called Business Done Differently. That's run by a guy called Jesse Cole. And the reason I mention this particular fellow in this podcast is because he was originally a baseball player who stopped uh, playing baseball and went into marketing. And he was basically given a baseball team to have to market. Now, when he got there, it's a baseball team in Savannah. When he got there, they had $263 in the bank, I think it was. They had 200 people coming to the game and they had wages due on Friday and there were three people that worked there. So he decided, okay, traditional marketing strategy. So he used all the traditional marketing strategies he knew. He got cold calling, he, got, he tried to get sponsorship, he did all sorts of things the way that they always do, advertising in the paper and doing this, that and the other thing, and none of it worked. People would reject his calls or people wouldn't talk to him. It was, it was terrible. So what did he do? He reinvented the game of baseball. He took inspiration from P.T. Barnum and turned it into a show. So now they have the Savannah Bananas and he walks around in a yellow tux and they have parking penguins. Their players greet the punters when they come to the gate and they tear their tickets as they come through the turnstiles. They have players dancing on the field at various points in the game. They have the granny beauty contest. At the beginning of every game, they pick a family who's got a, a young baby 
out of the audience. They dress a young baby in a banana costume and the parents and the baby are down on the field and they rise the baby up and they do the whole Lion King. Ah, Svenja, right? They do that. That's the start of every game. And the family that get picked, they get things given, like they get, you know, surprises to give them to them. They get, you know, food or what have you. They have an all-you-can-eat, so the ticket is all-inclusive. So when they arrive in the stadium, they don't have to bring anything or do anything. All their drink, all their food, all totally inclusive in the ticket price. And the ticket price is $11, I think. Incredibly affordable, right? So, again, I say to you, what are you doing differently? I had a, another colleague come out to... The school I'm at and we were talking about various things and I was talking about the five-year plan and I was talking about our vision and I was talking about the things we'd achieved in the five years and various other things and he said to me so you run this place like a business and I go yeah yeah I do my department is a business it's a department within a business school is a business so treat it like a business and what are you doing differently I had a really cool idea in the car on my way here uh, back to the house and I thought to myself that's what I'm going to do next year that's something we're going to do differently so we've got uh, three pillars so we have three words and I ask you what are three words that describe your department what are three words that you can use that you think describe your department what you want to achieve where I work it's collaboration kindness and curiosity they're the three things we're focusing on and they're the three things that we're going to support and we're going to constantly refer to, which tie in with the school that have, um, uh, the school has uh, strengths. It has uh, signature strengths. So we're going to tie those in with that. And we have three things that we're focusing on in the department. So in thinking about that, collaboration, kindness and curiosity, I'm going to put QR codes on each of the rooms. So I'm going to get a QR code and I'm going to set up a video and I'm going on each video, I'm going to have an introductory video about what goes on in that room. For example, we have one room that has the Japanese drumming in it. That's got all the taiko drumming. We just happen to have a Japanese drumming group. So on that particular QR code, I'm going to set up a video which welcomes people to music room one. This is the central home for year eight. Uh, this is where uh, central home for year eight and year and senior classes this is where the japanese drumming unit happens in year eight we have our japanese drumming group Ty kira daiko do you want to be part of that group here's here's how you do it so it's going to be like a little promotional video about what goes on in music one and then what goes on in music two and then what goes on in music three and i'm not going to do anything i'm just going to say i'm going to put the qr code up on the screen and i'm going to go want to know or i'm going to say uh what's this about or I'll have some sort of word that'll sit at the top so that the kids will kind of walk past and go that's new or it might even be what's new it might be that so again I ask you what are you doing differently in your department what are you doing that's making you stand out because let's be realistic we have to stand out in this world right standing still doesn't work doing what everybody else does why Everybody else does it, so why are we all doing it? So let's stand out. Stand out with your department. Make connections with professionals. Make real world connections, global connections. Get involved in projects. And again, if you want to build the music department of your dreams, have a think about this, the answer to this question. If money was not an objective, and you had every resource available to you, what would it look like? What do you think it would look like? What does your music department look like? If you can answer that question without any limitations, then you're well on your way to creating a music department of your dreams. Because all you have to do is you go, okay, that's what it looks like. So now, backward map it. How do I get there? And okay, you might not have a huge budget, you might not have lots of engagement going on, you might not have uh, social media, you might not, there might be lots of things that, don't ha that you don't have, okay? But start with where the end is. Find out what you want, work out what the music department of your dreams looks like without any limitations, and then backward map and make it a reality. 
Also remember, your brain focuses on three things really solidly. That's why when they do memory tests, they ask you to remember five things. The first three things you usually can, four and five sometimes are a bit hazy or a bit sketchy because the brain will be able to process three things. And that's why a lot of businesses and a lot of um, a lot uh, educators will tell you, don't do any more than three things in a class. Don't do any more than three things in a lesson. Don't have any more than three things to do for the day because you won't get them done. Don't have any more um, any more than three goals for the quarter. Don't have any more than three uh, uh, goals for the week. Three things, yeah? Three is the magic number. So that concludes my little Facebook Live series of episodes of KCM TV. So I hope you've enjoyed the first little block uh, of these four episodes. And next year, I'll be coming back online in January. So like everybody, we're all taking a break. I mean, we're all exhausted. Let's be realistic, you know. It's been a huge year and it's been a huge term, I'm sure. And we've all decided to go on holidays and we're downing tools and not doing anything until we get back probably on the 6th of January. Some might even be coming back online on the 14th. Um, but the 6th of January is the Monday, so I will be kicking back on after that first, after um, uh, New Year's Day is finished. So I will be coming back online uh, to start KCM TV up again. If you've got any ideas of, of topics you'd like me to cover, then pop it in the post underneath. Um, uh, share this with your friends. Uh, the videos have gone up onto YouTube, so they're also on my YouTube channel. So if you missed it here or you want to look at it again and you want to, I don't know, time cut it or something, I don't know, go and have a look there. Um, but we're going to be starting to look at how to do things differently. Because let's be realistic, that's where the magic happens. You know, what are you doing differently to make yourself stand out? All right, so have a fabulous holiday. Have a great break. Um, I'll see you back in uh, online in January. And uh, in the meantime, catch you later. Bye for now.